Alex, Alex, Subway or Duna? What's better? Putting it into the back of the net after chesting the ball down and settling it is Lucas Osterman. A nice cross set to the right post. Osterman able to chest it down, elude a pair of defenders, and set a low left footed strike just under the reach of Ormiston into the back of the net, and the Knights are on the board. Triton's applying pressure in the defensive third, get a deflection. Ball is free in the box, headed down, and there's a foul in the box. Hecker will earn a penalty. Sizing him up. Here's the penalty shot into the left, or rather the right corner, and we're tied at one. And the Tritons earn the penalty. Pertuso finishes it off. Last three Eckerd goals have come from the foot of Algonnet. We are now tied at one. And now Pertuso. Oh, a straight red. A straight red to Pedro Galvo. I was looking, looking down. I didn't see what he did. But Miguel Martez driven to the far post, headed off the crossbar and punched in on the rebound by, I believe, Sandman. Sent high into the box. Dawson got a head on it. Back out for two, so settles. Rips a shot, but it's well wide of the post, and that'll take care of it as Lynn will be able to let the final seconds tick off the clock. And the number 10 Fighting Knights of Lynn University will leave Johnson Field with a hard fought 2 1 win over the Anchor Tritons to open Sunshine State Conference play. Lynn improves to 4 0 on the year, 1 0 in the conference. Tritons finished the six match homestand with a record of 4 2 overall and 0-1 oh now.